You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Horn. Sir! All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. Always was a little green. So what were you telling? I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched it bark the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. If you get him. <laughs> Ramon.
Mo Cortez. We've come for you. Cortez, you seen him? He's in the box. He's gonna kill you. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Oh, it'll all be over soon! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <laughs> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to rope. Rose? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. <laughs> Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for her head! Be quiet! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Now. Three! Let them have it, boys! Oh. 
Apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Okay. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself, to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. 
They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down oh. now! Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Stow him and we can go. There you are, Missy. Get him on a horse. We can get out of here before the buzzards show up. We're going for a ride. Uh, it's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. You are a dead man. Forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. to kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agree. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to 
find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, shit. You got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Thank <laughs> you. 